you are first of all you are my friend i introduce you to my guy and then you go behind my back and go for my guy what's your problem what is wrong with you now don't the fire I back to my youtube channel thank you so much for tuning back in it's been a minute anyways um today i'm going to be giving advice to a couple of people that have asked for it through instagram and um yeah i just my main goal is to help people become better and you know just make wise decisions you know what i'm saying <laughs> you know what i'm saying I just want to remind you that if you're new to the channel, welcome to the family, join the fam zone, join Ashley's diary, join my life by subscribing to this channel, don't hesitate to like, comment and share and yeah, let's just get right into it. How do you start something small on your own? Um, basically, I would say that if you want to start something small on your own, just do it, just do it. It may be a YouTube channel, it may be a business, it may be something, a vlog just do it because um most of the times when you have these ideas they don't really come to play before you actually put in the action so usually you need to like stop stressing um usually like you need to stop stressing just be yourself do you be you for you do what makes you happy what you're passionate about i know some of these things may be quite outrageous and they may be exaggerated but when you put your work your faith your anything your energy your passion your love for it it'll always come out so you just do it don't think about it just do it how do you deal with someone who doesn't love going to church um i think you pray for them because sometimes telling someone that um you need to start going to church more often people don't listen these days people don't and if you really care about this person, I would advise you to actually pray for them because prayer is a powerful weapon and you know, you can achieve so many things through prayer and yeah, God can do the race for you. Sometimes you just gotta put things into God's hands. So you gotta stop fighting and let God do the fight for you. Okay, so the next thing is, I asked my female friend whether she has feelings for me and she said, Iweweka, like, chimposiana na ajota thing. Um, I think that I think what she's trying to probably she actually does have feelings for you but she's trying to cover them up by saying can you be serious with your life why would I have feelings for you type of thing but at the same time she might not have feelings for you and she might actually just not want to talk about that or she might actually feel attacked and offended that you think she has feelings for you so it's a toy thing just gotta be able to compromise and understand and evaluate the situation before you actually react um, the next thing is how can i be a happy girl do you for you don't care don't first of all if you're not be someone who's happy eliminate negative energy choose the right friend be yourself you know pray every day put god first in your heart the moment god is there happiness is there because jesus is your joy and also just basically do what makes you happy period 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 don't think don't put don't live for people live for yourself you always be happy um how do you concentrate more during online exams and listen I also struggle with that, but then I think if you really love what you're doing and if you really want to succeed and if you really want to go out and prosper in what you're doing, then you have to concentrate. You have to concentrate. Uh, I caught my girlfriend cheating on me. What do I do? Leave her. We can't, you can't even, you can't forgive, of course, but you can't forget that incident. You can't be like, um, you know, um, I caught you cheating, but I'll forgive you. Why was she cheating in the first place is my question. Like, you can't, you can't risk trying to forgive someone and putting your heart at risk. It's, it's not possible. You, in, in as much as you have to care about other people's feelings, you can't always put theirs first before yours. You will never be happy, trust me. What do I do if someone... If I like someone that's older than me than by five years, oh, it depends on the, like how old, okay, I can't really say how old you are and how old they are, like, you already say five years, but then, like, it depends with how old you are and how old they are, get, if you're, like, 
some people like people who are five years older than them because they feel that these guys are more mature than the people that are in their age range you know and sometimes it's like I feel like um, it depends on who you are some people don't care even if they're dating someone who's seven years older than them some people you know they care and you know society also says a lot about it but it's you your happiness matters if you feel like this person makes you happy then sure go for it because at the end of the day some of the age gaps that you, your parents have are actually quite ridiculous but you just don't know it because you've never bothered to ask some people actually know you know the age gaps of some of some of like your parents are actually much more than five years so it, it's so that especially if you actually then get to meet this guy and then you realize that what is actually your husband to be so yeah go for it i think it depends on who you are i can't really speak for myself because i it also depends on the person because there's some people that are ridiculously old and then there's some people that you know that you're just cool you get along better and yeah it is what it is <laughs> it is what it is it is what it is <laughs> um I heard that my friends were talking about me behind my back but I'm not sure who told you that okay the thing is people come to you with false information but they don't want to mention like you know how people come and say oh I had someone this person was talking about you but they don't want to mention with that what that person is first of all you need to get a fact straight you need to know the actual truth before you actually do something about it and basically um, you need to just be you need to just be alert don't always trust people too much because people will betray you but also be loving and kind so it's a, like a two-way thing I introduced my friend to my boyfriend and then after a while my boyfriend cheated on me with my friend what do I do <laughs> guys friends why do you do this why do you do this like why can you and can you just be loyal for once? Can you control yourself? Can you? Cause this is not cool. You can't. You can't do that. Okay. First of all, I would put it down on my friend. I'm no. I'm not gonna blame my men for this. You can't really like. To be honest, some of these things you can't really blame men. Cause men are like. <sighs> physical attractions are very very hard to control and all that. I would blame it on my friend. Cause. Yeah, first of all, you're my fan. I introduce you to my guy, and then you go behind my back and go for my guy. What's your problem? What is your problem? What is your problem? <laughs> yeah, ah. Uh, first of all, damn, break up with that boyfriend or feels and leave that friend. Let them do what they gotta do, and you move on with their life. And I've got, I've been hearing rumors about me, and they say that apparently the person said that my best friend was the one spreading them. What do I do, friends? okay first of all you have to clarify facts don't rush and assume things don't confront before knowing your facts because you can come to that person and be like um i heard you say this and this about me but then they actually didn't and then you guys just have some unnecessary beef that wasn't there to begin with so it's you just gotta confirm your facts first before you react actually ask yourself did this person actually say this about me do they do this about me you know type of what not saying um the next thing is i like this guy and i want to shoot my shot but i feel like it's kind of weird and it makes me look desperate cut the cameras okay um honestly it's 2020 girls can shoot their shots you know it happens you maybe you might actually shoot your shot and that's your future to be um i feel like just go for it this was 2020 guys we've gone through so much and you just hesitating to do something that might not even kill you What's the point? Um, live life. Do the things. Do things that scare you the most. Cause they just do it. Like I won't even lie. Some things that you think are ridiculous and stupid. Sometimes you just gotta do it. But then I'm not saying some bad. I'm not. I'm not just referring to bad things per se. I'm just saying like simple things like starting something new. You know, living life, moving to a new region. Just do it. Just do it. Okay. So the last person said that. Um. I'm depressed. Um, okay. First of all, um, depression is a very big thing. I won't even lie. We all go through it sometimes. We can have our emotional breakdowns. You just need to speak to someone about it. Confide in someone. Um, you need to actually like talk to someone who 
knows how to deal with these feelings and emotions pray about it god is the key i won't even lie depression is something that the devil brings and creeps into your life because usually when people are depressed they start suffering from a lot of things and they wanna they start having suicidal thoughts and that's what the devil wants so you need god into your life so that you can be able to conquer this thing and yeah you you get through it trust me it's just a phase and it will get over and done with so yeah just um pray about it speak to your friends and yeah talk to someone you know is actually quite real and true because there are snakes out there there are snakes out there wait a damn minute <laughs> What the damn? You know, you tell someone that ah, I'm not feeling good. I'm feeling depressed, kind of depressed, and sad. I'm feeling anxious, and then you hear the whole, like the whole community now knows that you're depressed. Hey, my God. Hey, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. They now make fun of you. Mm -mm. Nabu. Oh, I actually had a lucky, lucky response. Um, it said that, um, like, how do I stay motivated? Um, you stay motivated by, first of all, um, if you do something and you're not fully motivated about it, then it's not your passion and it's not something you're passionate about to begin with. What you gotta do is you gotta do something that you're passionate about. We buy each and every time you're always thinking about the thing, you're always doing that thing, and you don't stop. That's so basically when you start to stay motivated, you stay loving that thing. Put God first, just be happy, do you, and yeah, just open your heart to new beginnings. Don't like always feel, don't always think about the things you did in the past, but continue being motivated. Don't care about what people think, be you, do it for yourself clear negativity in the atmosphere it's a lot and it's the mm -mm. we don't want negative energy and the last question i got is um i wanna i'm thinking of studying instagram but then i'm just shy to and i feel like i won't get a platform out there um start instagram but some people don't like instagram some people just start instagram and they don't post pictures they just want to be viewing people's lives that's not healthy don't do that start instagram and before you start your instagram page make sure you know who you are because sometimes instagram can make you want to be someone else wanna dress in a certain way act in a certain way make post make some certain pictures that are not true be true to yourself and true to your values know your values know your standards don't settle for less just be you you can't start instagram and pretend to be someone because you can't pretend for long it gets really tiring to pretend for long so you need to be someone who is core valued you know who you are and you do not question yourself you don't stand and settle for less and you know your standards just be you and start instagram you know you might actually be an influencer but you're just hesitating to cause they're those you know negative thoughts that people say you know how it is but just start instagram you never know you might find your destiny in instagram not like basically you might actually get a job or opportunity through instagram you never know you might find your husband through instagram you never know so just do it and don't question anything about it okay guys i've come to the end of this video um i didn't manage to finish answering some of the questions because they're kind of like related to the ones i also answered and yeah i didn't feel like repeating it but thank you guys for viewing this video thank you so much like for thank you so much guys for viewing this video thank you for support and i just want to say think stay safe out there guys don't 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 go out without a mask stay home if it's better that way and yeah thank you so much for in this video welcome to my channel join the fam zone join my diary you can read through my life but just subscribe to the family and thank you so much god bless you stay safe and stay glowing and growing <laughs> yes we're glowing and growing and guys i want to thank you so much for all the people that have already subscribed to my channel i'm so grateful for the love support and yeah I hope you guys are good. Hope you guys are okay, okay, okay. Comment down below whatever you feel, whatever you're feeling. If you have any video suggestions for me, just comment down below.